Hello everyone, I'm Pacific Casual Gamer. Welcome back to another video. And I want to talk about how bad Call of Duty has fallen off for me. So in case you guys don't know, I really said I didn't want to make any videos about Call of Duty tips anymore and stuff like that because I don't want to play the game. And, God, I don't even remember the last time I played the game. But I haven't played the game in a while now for being a $60 purchase and like a big game of 2017, you know? I haven't really played it. And... To explain to you how much I don't want to play it is I have bought the season pass. I was stupid and bought the season pass, okay? 50 bucks down the drain, basically. And I was more excited to get the news randomly that PUBG was being patched and it was going to work right than Call of Duty World War II coming out with a new DLC. I was more excited for an update to a game then an entire content pack dropped into a game. And not only that, I mean, like, the the devs took out... What did they take out? They took out the daily weapon things where, like, you could earn in-game... Like, you could earn those weapons that you get from supply drops. You can earn them from, um... What do you call it? The... God dang it. Uh, playing games. That was, like, an order, right? And... It's like, no, we don't want you to have that. We want you to buy more supply jobs. And it's like, I don't even want to play the game anymore. The, the reason I would have actually, you know, now that I own the game, I would play, now that I own it for MWR, I've been playing the Infinite Warfare campaign. I played it a little bit, and I want to play it more after I'm done with, like, PUBG and Kingdom Come Deliverance, right? But Infinite Warfare, I'm looking at it on the ground, like, hmm. But Infinite Warfare's campaign... Like, if that kind of action was put into the multiplayer, I would take Infinite Warfare for a spin, except for the fact that there is a bunch of just added weapons, BS pay-to-win microtransactions and loot boxes and stuff. I don't want to play Infinite Warfare. I don't want to play it. I don't want to touch it. And so, like I said in the last video, I don't even want to buy the next Call of Duty. I don't care about Black Ops 4 or whatever they're releasing, Black Ops 4, Modern Warfare, you know, whatever. Like, it can be a Modern War game, I don't care. Rainbow Six Siege is a better Modern War game, and that's not even the same, and it's not even the same type of shooter as Call of Duty, right? I mean, the Battlefield devs just said that they're making a new Battlefield in World War II, and it's not a reboot of Battlefield 1942 or 3 or whatever the numbers were. I never played that one, but it's going to be a new experience. So, I mean, like, I don't want to buy Call of Duty Black Ops 4 if it's just going to be a slot machine. While EA just got hit for making a slot machine, and they're going to tread carefully with the Battlefield um, 5 loot boxes or whatever the next Battlefield is. They just, I feel like EIA just has like a die, and they roll the die to pick a number of their next Battlefield, right? Like, oh, we made Battlefield 1... And then four is out, so we're gonna make Battlefield Five. And it, it's it's like what? But I mean, it's still better. It's still I know after they went through that Battlefront Two thing, EA did as well as Mass Effect Andromeda sucking, and Forza whatever not working or Need for Speed or whatever racing game that. EA decided to make that also had microtransactions as well as NBA 2K18 like they're not gonna put in a lot of loot boxes for guns and if they are then I just won't buy any more battlefields either I mean I like battlefield one I don't care that it has customizable loot boxes I really don't like like the camos in that game in battlefield one are cool but there's something about them that just makes me not care for them. I mean, there's actually, like, I care more about unlocking new weapons that I will never use again. I will unlock new sniper rifles that I never touch again than unlocking some cool golden camo, right? So if they put cosmetics only in Battlefield 1, whatever. I know Battlefield 4 was kind of atrocious, but you know what? We'll see, but I want to know from you guys, you know, is Call of Duty pretty much dead to you guys? It's dead to me. Normally, if a DLC came out for Call of Duty, I would definitely play it for like two more weeks, two or three more weeks, 
and then you know leave it alone but this one i haven't even touched the dlc yet it's been out it's been out for a month on playstation 4 i don't have it i've been out on xbox i'm not even hyped for it so let me know in the comments below but i'm specific the casual gamer i suck just as bad as you do at video games and i will see you in the next episode of stream blog stream a post of whatever i decide to make